Welcome to this quick video on filtering in Microsoft Excel. So I wanted to show you a quick tip of how to set up your filters quickly. Rather than going and selecting everything and turning on all the filters, you can go in and select the data that you want to filter by. And it's much easier to do this if you're looking for something. I tend to do it the long winded way just because I'm used to it and it's by a habit, but I'm trying to teach myself to do it quicker. So the long winded way, let's have a little look, is I would go and select the column, I would go to data and I would turn on my filter and then I can go into the filter and select the option that I want to grab. But I'm going to turn off that filter because an easier way of doing this is to select an example of the data that I want to filter by. So let's say I want to find all the hundreds in the order amount column. And I'm going to select one of those, right click on it. And then I'm going to get a box. I'm going to get a list here of all of my options. And I want to go to filter and then filter by selected cells value. So you can see you've got values on there, color, font color and the icon as well. So you do have a little few more options and you've also got an advanced filter. But very simply, I just want to filter by 100. And rather than setting up my filters and then doing the filter, I'm going to right click on the data that I want to filter by, filter by that value. And you can see it's created all my filters for me. So I don't have to go in and do that. And it's automatically set that filter to be 100. So I'm only seeing the rows there that have 100 in that column. So a very quick, easy way, quick top tip here to work quicker with filters rather than having to go set them all up and go into them. Um, it's much easier to do it this way. If you've already got filters on there at the top, you can still go and right click and filter by that specific data. Or if they're there, you can then go in and use them from that point onwards. So it's entirely up to you. But this is a really nice tip that I use to just make it easier to find the data I'm looking for. And I'm trying to train myself to do it this way rather than the older way that I maybe have done it and that I'm just used to doing it from muscle memory. So have a go at this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.